What is good everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure setup for you guys and this time it is Rated R Edition. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and we got some horror figures in here. We got some crazy stuff going on. I tried to think of some rated R things, and it was actually pretty difficult to come up with, but the idea just sort of popped in my head. Let's do something different with this action figure setup. So we went a little bit edgy with this one, and I do want to apologize for it, but um, I want you guys to check this out. Do you see the hot tub we got going on? This is supposed to be a hot tub. I don't know if you guys remember. The Elite 70 Vince McMahon does come with this stand right here, and so I turned it upside down. I I mentioned in the video that you could turn it into a hot, a hot tub or a bathtub, and I tried it right here in the setup with Pennywise the Clown right here, it, and uh, this Candace Michelle and this Tori Wilson, these are both Jack's figures, and I thought it would be pretty cool to have it, you know, just chilling it up in the hot tub, you know, just having a good time, but you know what, the freaking, uh, the hot tub doesn't hold up, guys, I tried to tape it, but you can see, it is literally leaking, look at the leakage, oh my god, it's gonna leak onto me, Jesus Christ, do you look at what I'm dealing with. So yeah, it did not work. It's clearly leaking, but I wanted to get it, you know, I wanted to have the water in there for you guys, and so uh, I am literally leaking the backstage. The backstage is literally leaking. It's about to fall off the table as we speak. I gotta grab a towel. Alright guys, so uh, you guys see here, I clearly, uh, yeah, there is literally water everywhere, just seeping everywhere, and you can see, like, this towel is soaking wet, like, my god, what have I done? But you know what, uh, we're gonna try to make it through this setup, oh my lord, guys, look, it's just running everywhere. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and empty this thing, and, you know, clean this backstage up real quick before water gets everywhere and just ruins everything, but you guys saw it right here with the water in it, so what, I wanted to make sure that the water got it into the video. Alright guys, I think we avoided disaster there. Literally, like, it was soaking everything. You guys saw that. I think I did get it all cleaned up here, but this setup's gonna be actually pretty freaking weird. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty on the edge here, and uh, I hope you guys can stay with me through it, and let me, let me know what you think. If you have any other crazy ideas for action figure setups, guys, let me know down in the comments section below, but uh, anyways, let's go ahead and move it over here. We got a, uh, we got a, we got a freaking murder going on right here. You guys can see AJ Styles laid out on the concrete, and look up right here. If it isn't John Cena, Gangster John Cena right here, doing a drive-by with Matt Hardy. Look at Matt Hardy. He's sadistic, man. Look at his freaking face right there. Doing a drive-by on AJ Styles. They, they, they just shot him up here and they got him right there. One, one time in the stomach, one time in the head. Great shot there by John Cena. Got him right in the skull face and now AJ Styles is all laid out. He's bleeding out everywhere. And, and Gangster Cena let him have it, man. He just freaking tattooed him right there, right in the face and uh, they're not even speeding off, man. They're just chilling in the backstage area. So John Cena... John Cena just got AJ Styles right there. Just just very unfortunate situation for AJ Styles here today in the action figure setup. But back to this figure, guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to NECA for making this it figure possible to be in this setup here today, guys. If you want to grab that figure, go over to their eBay site or Amazon and pick up this NECA figure. If you have a Target in your area, you can also pick this up locally at Target. Comes with a ton of accessories, really good stuff. And uh, you can put it in a hot tub with your Diva action figures if you would like. But here it is on display. Really beautiful figure. I definitely recommend it, definitely go grab that thing. But moving on with the rest of the setup, guys, if we come up a little bit further, another figure that we got from NECA is the Freddy vs. Jason NECA Jason figure right here, guys. Another one that you can grab on their eBay page, Amazon, or Target if you're local there, if you can go grab it. But he is about to destroy Seth Rollins. I always love using this Seth Rollins figure for my setups because look at his face. I mean, you can just tell he is screaming in agony. He's also strapped down to this stretcher. So I think it's safe to say that he is about to get just butchered to death there by Jason. So he's got the machete. The machete already got some blood on it. I guess Seth Rollins hasn't been touched yet. Maybe maybe he got some blood on him from AJ Styles up here laid out. Dead, 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 bless him. But anyways, guys, back to Jason right here. Just about to chop Seth Rollins in half here, and you guys know that we do this in our Halloween setup sometimes. we got some stuff going on. Really creative setups you can do with these NECA horror figures. You can do some really cool fantasy matchups and pick feds and stuff. I think that'd be really cool to do, like, a matchup. Can you imagine if we did, like, Pennywise or Michael Myers or Freddy versus Jason for real in the pick fed, like a pick fed style matchup? I think that would be epic, but uh, here we have uh, Seth Rollins about to get absolutely destroyed again. It just looks so realistic. Like, look how he's handcuffed there. I almost handcuffed 
handcuffed him, but I thought that, you know, these bands, they work out perfectly. So, just, uh, Jason is about to destroy him. I've seen that movie probably 650 times is the Freddy versus Jason there, but I did want to add him to the setup since we got that epic figure from NECA. Next up, guys, this is a pretty cool spot right here. We have Braun Strowman, and if you guys can see that correctly, he is set on fire. His head slash back area is on fire, and he's screaming in agony. I love the facial expressions for the setup. They really sell the realism of it here, but Braun Strowman is set ablaze, and who other than the Demon Kane to set ablaze to the man, and I don't know why I chose this Brock Lesnar. Obviously, Brock Lesnar really wouldn't care if Braun Strowman was on fire, but in this case, I just think it looks funny because, you know, he's uh, Kane back there has a pissed off face. Braun Strowman just kind of yelling in agony with the fire on his head and neck area. And then Braun Strowman's like screaming like what the hell's going on? But it, I think that his hands work perfectly for holding that fire extinguisher. So I just thought it would be a perfect setup here to, to have Brock Lesnar holding that thing. And it's it's really funny. Like look at it all in together. That, that just That's a great shot right there of Braun Strowman just screaming there. So I wanted to add Brock Lesnar uh, just because he held it perfectly. I, I played around with some different figures but this one was my favorite. I, I just like the screen and expression. And then if we finish it off guys, I know it's not a lot, but I really it was really hard to think of different things to plug in here, but anyways, zooming in over here, you will see, I know that obviously Lita and Edge are not together, right? They're not together um, anymore, but they were back when I was a kid, and I thought that it would be really cool here to have them reunited. You have the Rated R Superstar Edge, and you have Lita, and this is a custom Rated R Lita, and it is custom made. It has like, even the, you know, the dimensions are all accurate there, you know, the the customizer took care of it there and so I don't think I've ever showed that figure off in detail before but anyways I had to put it here in the rated R setup right I mean I had to plug it in you can see the rated R there on her jeans but um, right here we have Edge kind of uh, you know coming on to Stephanie here and Triple H and Lita not having you know they're, they're not very happy so I'm guessing that Triple H is going to pedigree Edge and uh, Lita is going to have some words to say as well obviously I, Edge is married I know that for a fact I, I know that he's married to Beth Phoenix but I thought it would fit the, uh, the setup well. You can't have a rated R edition without, you know, uh, Edge or Lita, especially as a couple there. So I figured that would work out perfectly. And uh, what better way to be rated R than with Lita with herself there and uh, Edge, of course. So there are those two. And I guess, you know, Triple H again, going to beat the hell out of Edge. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, just check out the poor bastard. Bless his heart. But anyways, guys, that I think is going to do it for this WWE action figure setup. Again, if you want to grab this NECA IT figure or the NECA Freddy vs. Jason Jason figure, go on to Amazon, go on to eBay. You can pick it up from the NECA store or you can grab it locally at Target. But I think that is going to do it for this edition of this WWE action figure setup, guys. I wanted to get a little bit edgy, wanted to think outside the box. I like doing things with certain themes. I think it gives it, you know, sometimes, a lot of the times we do pay-per-view themes, but I like to do it, you know, with like some certain things like, you know, like uh, vehicle edition or Extreme Rules Edition or Ladder Edition or any like that. I love those because those are the most fun. You can get real creative with it and kind of do some things off the wall like with the fire back there, the drive-by scene here. And I definitely think that today's edition was rated R. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. Comment down below your favorite part of the setup. I would love to know any future setups you guys would like to see in the future. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos as well as horror things. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.